One of children's finest assets is their lifeline team. Lifeline is the baby bus. We can do everything we need to do for the babies that we can do in the NICU. When the Lifeline team arrives up for a delivery, moms and dads are reassured that their baby will get the best of care. Whether a baby is born across the street or an hour away, we can travel to that hospital to stabilize the baby and safely transfer the baby back here for the remainder of their care. This is the only system in the area that has the capability to perform the total body killing on transport. It's only a finite amount of time that you have to get that baby on a cooling blanket so that you can reverse possible adverse outcomes. We are seeing little kids with traumatic deliveries that we would not expect to go home for months, go home in 10 days. It was the spring of 2015, and Loudoun County resident Kayla Malone was headed to the hospital for what she thought was the routine C-section birth of her second child. And what we thought was supposed to be a normal delivery turned into a very scary delivery. Rains was born with only a heartbeat. He wasn't breathing. Rains was immediately rushed to East Tennessee Children's Hospital. As a mom, I mean, I was terrified. I was laying there feeling helpless. I couldn't do anything to help him. You know, I had to put his life in the nurse's hands, and thankfully the nurse's hands were just as well as mine. You know, they were there and cared for him just as I would if I could. The Malone family maintained hope despite the desperate circumstances. You know, best case scenario would be uh, cerebral palsy and that he would have severe brain damage. He may never walk, he may never run around and play. Meanwhile, the staff at East Tennessee Children's Hospital began treating Reigns. They put him on a cool cap and for 72 hours they ran that cool cap and you know, there was no stimulation. He could not be um, spoken to or touched or um, any stimulation of his brain because they were trying to um, reduce or reverse any possible brain damage. For the next, you know, two weeks, we would just kind of waited, you know, test after test. And finally, after weeks of treatment, the final round of tests revealed that Reigns had made a full and complete recovery. Just tears, tears of joy, you know, just so thankful. Um, you know, he's just a miracle and, you know, we wouldn't be where we are if it wasn't for Children's Hospital and they had that, didn't have that technology.